This morning has been crazy. Like, this morning has been so crazy. So, the big one woke up this morning at like 6.30. And they went to bed pretty early last night, but I was hoping that, that they would still kind of sleep until 10. No. Big one woke up around 6.30 and I was like, listen, you gotta go back to bed. Um, I stayed up pretty late last night trying to redo, well, retwist um, my hair. And I didn't finish because they were like kind of a little restless last night. So I was like, okay, you know, at least they're gonna sleep in. I should have known when I had that thought that they weren't gonna sleep in. By the way, this is just a cup of water. Like I'm, I'm trying to romanticize this morning because I mean, I don't know if it was because I had to record or what, but it just seemed like I was doing the most this morning. It seemed like everything was happening this morning. Like things were on the floor. I forgot to close, well, I didn't forget to close the kitchen last night. Tay was supposed to close the kitchen, but then I realized that I never told him that he was supposed to close the kitchen. So there was like a mess in the kitchen that I had to clean up. And it was just a lot. Not to mention the fact that like I'm up before 10, which is, ugh, it's not giving. I see why people drink coffee because like I'm feeling a moment right now. I know this is a cup of water or a mug of water, but I am feeling something right now. Like I really am. And I feel like if this was warm or if this was coffee, it would really give me a vibe right now. So something else that's happening is that um, my big one, I don't wanna say his name because he's gonna, well, he already knows who he is, so it's not a big deal. But my big one likes to prank me. And so this morning's prank was to hide my glasses. Now, all the pranks that he does are actually not funny because they're always like things that are really extreme, like my glasses, I clearly need them to see. And I'm one of those people that like, I can walk around a little bit, like if I know the area, I can walk around without my glasses. But for the most part, I can't see much without my glasses. Like things aren't clear. Um, I will completely not see something without my glasses. So, um, you know, I'm looking for my glasses this morning and I always put them in the same spot. So as soon as they weren't there, I knew that he had them. But I was like, you know, maybe they fell on the floor or something like looking or whatever like that. So then I'm like, okay, you know, where's mommy's glasses? And he's like, look, and he's pointing to the ground, but girl, I could not see. <laughs> I literally could not see. So now I'm just like getting frustrated, right? I'm, I'm like feeling a little frantic because I'm like, you know, I literally can't see. This is like my lifeline. You know, like whenever I don't have my glasses, I'm always like in a panic because literally I cannot see. So I'm just like, you know, please can you help mommy find them? Like, you know, we're right here. Like, you know, I'm like feeling around on the ground, you know, feeling like Velma, like, you know, Jinkies, where are my glasses? And he's just like, look, mama, it's, it's a surprise, it's a surprise, I hide them. And I'm just like, ugh. This was not the morning for a break, but you know, anything for them to smile, I guess, right? Um, <laughs> I'm saying this, but like, your girl is like super exhausted right now. I went to bed somewhere around three and I'm just like, okay. But anyway, today, what is on the agenda? So today, the focus is going to be um, Christmas prep. So I am hosting Christmas this year. And so we're hosting a lot of people, but I really wanted to like give someone, like give everybody a gift on Christmas day. Like I want everybody to open up a gift. This year I decided that I'm going to do handmade gifts. Now I'm saying this as it's literally 10 days away from Christmas. So I don't have a lot of time to make said gifts, but um, I came up, I saw some ideas on YouTube and just like on some other blogs. So I am gonna sit down and like write out a list of all the things that I need to get. I also want to make a, um, a piece of artwork that is the kids feet and then all of our hands. So um, that's two pieces of artwork well, it might actually be three pieces of artwork depending on like if I get multiple colors, but I basically wanna do canvases and I, I don't know where I'm gonna put them. I think I'm actually gonna put them right here. At first I was gonna put our family photos here, but I think that I might like the canvases a little bit better. The only dilemma I'm having is that what color am I gonna make this? Because I've seen the canvas in black. Like I see a lot of people do a black canvas with white, um, you know, footprints or whatever, but with the color of 
or walls. I'm just really nervous about doing, you know, black, um, black canvases. So I don't know. I think I'm going to get both and just see how I feel. And then if I, you know, need to take them back, I can. Maybe I'll like put it up before I actually, you know, paint on it so I can take it back if I want. I might just keep it anyway. Who cares? Uh, but yeah, so those are the focuses. Okay, so I have about, well, I'm trying to figure things out. I'm gonna prioritize stuff for six people, creating things for six people. And then there's other people that are also coming. So once I make the core six that I need to make, then I will start focusing on getting stuff for everybody else is doing. And that's how you be a good hostess, JK, I don't know. We had a great trip. It went as smoothly as it can go with two toddlers. But I got a bunch of stuff and I kind of changed my idea a little bit about what I was gonna make for people. At first I was gonna buy a ceramic bowl and then paint the ceramic bowl. But then I found some clay and I think I'm just gonna try to make the bowl. So we'll see what happens with that. I'm excited to try it out. If it doesn't work, I'll just buy a bowl and paint it. It's okay, baby. My friend and I share a birthday month. Her birthday is four days after mine. And we um, have started this little tradition where we go to the Cheesecake Factory to celebrate our birthday. Um, so it's like two weeks before our birthdays, but we're gonna go and celebrate today anyway. Mama is looking cute. I put a little foundation on and my little lipstick on. Um, and then I put a little aquaphor on just so I can like make sure that my lips don't get too dry. Um, but this is a matte lipstick, but as you can see, it's glistening thanks to our little aquifer situation but um but yeah i'm super excited about this i haven't been out to cheesecake factory in a while so i am ready to eat good honey but we're gonna have a good time i am excited for the vibes i don't know if i told you that i was um but do a video and then we'll screenshot okay come on son. okay so we look cute. oh look at us matching <laughs> I missed you. Jeez. Finally home. Cheesecake Factory was fun. Well, I'm not home. We're actually at Tay's parents' house. Um, but my day is over. I was gonna show the behind the scenes of us making that painting, but we never did it. So maybe that'll happen tomorrow. Say bye bye. Say night night. <laughs>